Hey there, welcome to the 12th daily jQuery tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. In the easy JavaScript series we learned how to count characters in a text area and in this tutorial I want to show you how to do the exact same example in jQuery and instead of counting characters we'll be counting words. It's a question that I've gotten a couple of times, times and I think it's a great topic to cover because you can use this knowledge in any programming language not just JavaScript. And you can find the easy JavaScript tutorial on how to count characters on easyprogramming.net link here. So we'll be using the onEvent method that we've learned in jQuery er earlier and the event that we'll be looking at is a key up event. Pretty much the same thing that we did in JavaScript. The setup here is also pretty much in JavaScript. Actually right now it is what we saw in JavaScript. So if I go into my JavaScript tab, the code here is just JavaScript. So when I start typing it counts characters as it's supposed to. Let's actually, let's actually convert this JavaScript code into jQuery and show you how easy it is to just refactor your code. So the first thing we're going to do is instead of storing these document elements inside variables, we'll just target them using the jQuery selector here, and we'll do my text instead of uh, all the way up there. Uh, I'll just copy and paste this here as well because we're targeting it there as well. I'll also change the character count characters to just count, uh, and one more here, and the word count I'm going to target directly. Word count using the jQuery selector. Now that we've done this, I can actually get rid of all of this. And we have just our method here. We need to make a couple more changes to refactor our code from JavaScript to jQuery, where we'll change the add event listener to on, because that is the method in jQuery. Key up will stay the same, uh, but I'll switch it to single close just to remain consistent. The function, the callback function stays the same, and we're storing it in a variable called count. We're targeting my text, which is the text area here. We're getting the value and splitting it. Now, if you remember, jQuery and JavaScript is a little bit different. So you can't do dot value on a JavaScript, uh, on a jQuery object. You'll have to use the jQuery dot val method that's available to you instead of dot value. And then we can split as is, and the other change we need to do is instead of inner text, jQuery has a text method, and we'll get rid of this. I'll just cut and paste that in here because it's a method and it will apply that to the word count uh, span ID, which is here. Now if I update and run this, start typing, there you go. It's counting the characters as it's supposed to. The next to last change that we're gonna make is that in the split argument that we're sending in, we're instead of using, you know, open quote and close quote with no spaces in between, we're just gonna add a space in there. And when I update and run, voila, it counts the words. Uh, the problem with this is that you'll notice that since it's counting spaces, every time I enter a space, it counts it as a new word, which is something that we do not want. So how do we fix this? If you'll note, if you'll remember that the string method comes with a special method, uh, the string object comes with a special method known as trim, which you can use to get rid of white spaces around your string. So we can apply that after the value. We'll just chain it on. We'll say trim. It's a method. Dot split. So it's my text dot val dot trim dot split. So you're seeing some real chaining happening here. And if I update and run this, let's do you know test my name as Masmus, and you'll see that I'm adding a lot of random spaces and spaces and line breaks do nothing. Uh, you know, net blah blah blah, and it's counting words as is. So you'll see that you you've seen that we've turned our uh, multi-line JavaScript into just four lines of jQuery, and even then you can make it shorter if you want, if you, you can just minify your code. Uh, but anyway, here's a really quick and dirty example of how to count words in jQuery, which you can obviously apply to JavaScript as well and other programming languages. Thank you for watching this jQuery tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below or on easyprogramming.net. I do appreciate questions and I do try to answer every single one of them. Uh, I don't get very many, so, you know, ask. If you have any suggestions for newer videos, please ask. Please let me know. You can email me, you can comment below, and I'll be happy to reply. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.